Sometimes you kind of think after seeing temperatures in the 50s and 60s today that tomorrow we're talking about snow, but it's coming our way. And areas to the north and west of the Fox Valley will be seeing the highest totals. Winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings are in effect. It's going to be a very sharp gradient. The snowfall is going to start off over the eastern Rockies, then impact the central plains. And you see the uh, area of warnings and winter weather advisories traveling all the way up into the UP of Michigan. We've got an area of low pressure up in Canada that's bringing in a cold from the initial wave of some cooler air and then we got a very strong low pressure down over the central plains getting its act together right now. That's going to move up to the northeast and provide us with some moisture and also wrap in even more cold air. Now another thing that will need to be monitored with the storm system down to the south, now there will be a severe weather aspect to it. However, there have been times that when the strong storms occur down to the south, that Gulf moisture that we need for the storms up here, the rain and the snow, well, it has at times cut down the amount of moisture that we get. And then as a result, we don't see as much snowfall as we're currently forecasting. So something we'll have to monitor very closely as the storm really evolves in our area for tomorrow into Monday. Rainfall right now down to the south, even uh, there are a couple lightning strikes. So it is a very dynamic system that's getting its act together. Some light rain showers are possible this evening into the overnight, but more of that steady rains, it's going to hold off into the day for tomorrow. So here's how Skycast rolls it out. As you get into tonight, increasing cloud cover and then a couple isolated rain showers. Temperatures are holding steadily in the mid upper 30s and lower 40s. But as you get into tomorrow morning, that's when the moisture is going to start to build across our area and you see snowfall already developing up to the northwest, but you're seeing these temperatures lower to mid 30s. The snow is going to come down harder than it will be melting, so more accumulation than it will be melting. But farther to the south, 50s in Fond du Lac, 40s in Green Bay. We will be seeing rain down to the south, snows up to the north. And matter of fact, late tomorrow evening, could even have some thunderstorms roll in here. But then as the low pressure lifts up, we will start to see that cold air wrap around. And any rain that is down to the Fox Valley and eastward, we could transition to a little bit of light snowfall by the time we get into Monday morning. So by the time it's all done, we're thinking about 10 to 15 inches of snowfall. Yeah, it's going to be a wet, heavy snow up towards Anago, northern Nakanto, northern Marinette counties, and then you see the very sharp gradient. Look how quickly the totals drop down as you get towards the Fox Valley and areas towards the lake shore, where Fox Valley might just see a dusting on the grassy surfaces. So quite a drastic change depending on where you live. And it's a lot of moisture with the system. Rainfall totals between a half inch to an inch and a half. And then you're looking up towards Anago. That is water equivalent. If you melt the snow down to what it is in water, a very wet, heavy snow, upwards of an inch and a half of water equivalent. So if you're doing some shoveling, remember, bend the legs. You don't want to be using your back on that or use a snowblower if you have one. Gusty winds also will be an issue with this coming in out of the northeast and continuing into the day for tomorrow and then eventually turning out of the northwest as we get into Monday. Gusts upwards of 35, 40 miles per hour. And because of that, we have lakeshore flood advisories in effect for the bay and also Manitowoc starting tomorrow evening and continuing into Monday evening. Now, right now, 55 degrees. So we're not talking about winter weather right this minute. Gusty winds coming in out of the southeast at 14 miles per hour. We've got 40s along the shoreline, but still 61 in Wapaka. So quite a stretch of weather that we're going to be seeing over the next 48 hours. 35 for an overnight low temperature. We got northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Isolated shower possible. Then for tomorrow, that's when the big system moves in here. 38 for a high, but temperatures will be steadily falling as we get into overnight tomorrow into Monday. Tomorrow, matter of fact, is also Easter, if you forgot. Uh, 37 for Monday, 35 on Tuesday. Chance of a little bit of some wintry mix Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we do dry out, and eventually that cold air mass gets out of here by the weekend.